Welcome to lesson 2 of our Avid Media Composer series. In this video, we'll break down the Avid interface, helping you navigate the workspace easily. By the end, you'll feel confident with Avid's tools and layout. Let's get started. Starting with an overview of the workspace, Avid Media Composer's interface is divided into 5 key sections. The Project Window, this is where you manage bins, settings, and project metadata. You can create folders and bins. Bins are where we create new sequences. Import our footage and sound. The second one is source and record monitors. Here, you preview your media and edits. The third one is timeline. This is your workspace for assembling and editing sequences. The fourth one is tools panel. These include effects, audio tools, and other utilities for fine tuning your edits. The fifth one is workspace bar. Located at the right side of the interface, the workspace bar allows you to quickly switch between predefined layouts for tasks like editing, color correction, effects, audio mixing, and you can also create custom workspaces. Avid lets you customize your workspace to fit your editing style. You can resize, move, and dock windows wherever you like. Once you've set it up, save your layout by going to workspace in the menu bar and selecting Save Current. This is especially useful if you switch between different types of tasks, like editing and color grading. The Project Window is your command center. It contains Bins, where you keep and organize all of your media Settings tab, to configure everything from audio to playback Effects tab, a library of effects and transitions for both audio and video You can drag and drop them into your timeline this is where you'll start every project and return to as you organize your work. The timeline is where your editing magic happens. You'll use tools like Selection Tool to move clips around. Trim Tool to refine edits frame by frame. Markers to add notes and keep track of key moments. Adding effects, applying different kinds of effects to add a style to your edits. Take a few moments to familiarize yourself with these tools, they will be your best friends during editing. The source monitor is where you preview your raw clips. And the record monitor shows the edited sequence. You can use shortcuts like I and O, to set in and out points for quick editing. And that's your introduction to the Avid interface. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.